A cruise can be a wonderful option for a friend's vacation, but coordinating all the details can be difficult. Today, I'm going to give you my best tips on planning the perfect friend's cruise so that your vacation will be smooth sailing. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Freshly Squeezed Travels. I hope you are having a splendid day today. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kim. Today we're gonna to talk about something really fun, planning a cruise with your best friends. But before we dive in, if you like cruising videos, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do lots of cruising videos and I would love to have you as part of my traveling party. So I've planned lots of group cruises for girlfriend getaways, mother, child, spring break vacations, and couples just looking to get together to bond. And I think cruising is a really smart option. First, it tends to be very affordable because your cruise fare includes your room and most of your meals. Next, cruising really offers something for everyone. If you're traveling with someone who loves to work out, they can go to the gym or take a fitness class. If you are traveling with a foodie, they can go to a wine tasting. And for those who just want to relax, they can grab a lounge chair by the pool. So it gives everyone options so they're not all stuck doing the same thing. Cruising also takes away Away a lot of the headaches of traveling with the group. For example, you don't have to ask or try to research which restaurants to go to. The restaurants are all on board and you don't have to deal with the whole check splitting thing. You know, someone saying, hey, you guys all had steak. I had a salad, we need to split the check. It's all inclusive, so you don't have to worry about those little details, and you can just enjoy the time being together. So my first tip is if you are considering planning a cruise for several different people or several different couples, consider using a travel agent. With all the details of planning a group vacation, you're going to want to have one designated contact that you can email with any issues or any questions you get. because. I guarantee you're gonna get someone like, let's say, Joanne, who calls you and says, oh my gosh, great news. Linda's business conference got canceled and she can come with us now. She'll just stay in my cabin. Yes, well, that's great, Joanne, except for that your cabin is configured for only two people and now we're going to have to move your cabin. Instead of calling the cruise line, you know, after you're on hold and trying to figure out all the logistics and the new pricing, you can just shoot off an email and let the travel planner handle it. They can tell you your options, they can tell you the new rates for now the third person. It really can be a lifesaver when you are going on a friend's cruise. Next, have a dedicated way to keep everyone informed. Maybe create a Facebook group or just have a Google Doc that everyone has access to. Here you can share important dates like when payments are due, you can put the ship's itinerary there, maybe a suggested packing list, but just have one central place to keep all the information. Don't rely on group texts or emails because those can get lost and people will forget. You don't want to be answering the same questions over and over again. So just create one place with all the information that people need about the cruise. Next, whenever I plan a group cruise, I always pick a cruise line that includes drinks and gratuities. It just gives everyone less to think about. They don't have to worry about paying for their drink or how much to tip. They don't have to worry about gratuities. It's all taken care of. So that way they can spend more time just relaxing and having fun instead of worrying about these details. Norwegian is a great option for a cruise line for friends trips because they have their free at sea program. So they will include a lot of extras with the fare. So that is one option for you. Next, if you're on a ship, with the main dining room, have a set dining time every night and keep it consistent. Pick the eight o'clock seating, for example, or if people want to eat earlier, you can do my time dining and make reservations every night for 7 p.m. But have a set time and keep it consistent. Everyone will know exactly what time dinner is. Everyone will know where it is. You'll get to know your servers. Your servers will get to know you. And most importantly, you and your friends will get to spend time together. And then possibly do a specialty dining restaurant one night, maybe the last night or maybe the first night 
point as a celebration of your trip. Along those same lines, set specific meeting times. Maybe you pick a place and a time where you meet for happy hour every night, or maybe you book a couple shows to see together. But this is really important. You want to make sure that you have those set times when you know you're going to see everyone so you can enjoy being with the group. Next, shore excursions. If you do want your group to stay together at port, I would highly recommend looking into an all-inclusive. One that comes to mind is Mr. Sancho's in Cozumel. Everyone pays one set fee and all food is included and all drinks are included. Plus, there are activities for everyone. People can go kayaking or snorkeling. They can lay by the pool. They can swim in the ocean. There are just a lot of options. So all-inclusives are a great choice if you all want to stay together at port. And finally, make sure that you appoint a group leader. And if you're watching this video, it's probably you. But there is somebody who's going to need to communicate important details with the group and help answer questions. As I mentioned earlier, I feel like it's critical to have a travel planner who can help you with the more difficult things. But for the day-to-day -day questions, day-to-day -day inquiries, and to share details like how everyone is getting to the airport, how everyone is getting from the hotel to the cruise port, you really need to have one dedicated person. I am the group planner for almost all of my friend trips and I absolutely love it. There is nothing that I am more passionate about than planning vacations, whether it's mine or someone else's. So if you are thinking about or planning a girls cruise, guys cruise, couples cruise, I really hope that these tips help out. By the way, I am leaving on a cruise in two days with my parents. It is for their 50th wedding anniversary and it is on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. I am staying in a suite for the first time on Virgin and I will be doing a full suite review. If you are interested, please make sure that you are subscribed and I will let you know if I think it's worth the extra money. If you have any tips for planning a group cruise, please leave them in the comment section below so we can all learn from each other. And until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. Bye.